Gary V says, don't worry about your appearance, get the content out. Gary, I'm not so sure, my friend. Anyway, the video today is a little bit of education in vlogging. See you on the beach. Good morning, good morning, good morning. We have some sort of a sunrise here this morning at the boardwalk at St. Lucia Estuary Beach. Petrus, Vivius, Frankie, two stocks, and Pardet with your morning beach walk. Let us go, Pardet. Just an ear candy stop for you guys. The feather folk frolicking here at the boardwalk. arrived here at the estuary launch site at the estuary beach where the estuary mouth used to be and it's dinging out a lot now with going towards spring tide high tide but today we've got an easterly wind and that's going to do a lot of a lot of damage to the estuary mouth because that whole sandbank that was coming from south to north it's almost a liquid pulp and now it's going to be bashed this afternoon with uh, substantial waves so we'll be looking at that problem just now after the boats has launched the shad is back I don't know what that was but shad got hold of it the shad is back planted a tree <laughs> and decorated it with some dune grass and sand ornaments and it survived the night here at St. Lucia Estuary Mouth Isimangalisa Wetland Park South Africa this is the clip you guys have been waiting for this is why you watch the video in the morning I hope you watch some adverts too, because it's far to walk here, somebody needs to pay for it. Can't do it for free. I know there's critics <laughs> that say it's not, everything in life is not about money. Actually, this is my job. It is about the money. This is what I do for a living. But let's have a look at the history. We've got that sandbar growing from the south to the north. And it's basically liquid fight on the high tide this morning. We've got the easterly wind thumping on it. And by this afternoon, the tide is going to be the swell is going to be about two meter high. That's a lot of hammering that's going to push the sand westwards. So we'll be back tomorrow to see what damage the easterly wind has done through the night. Luckily, it's, no, it's still pretty much easterly at the moment. I wanted to say luckily it's turning north but it's not quite turning north yet tomorrow's wind will be northeasterly and then the next couple of days will be beautiful days to come shad fishing as I showed you the shad is back the shad is back I don't know what that was It's an amphibious creature that needs water to live in. So how does it do that? Now the the migration of the dunes to the south is now very evident here. Yeah. Very very evident. Nobody can deny that danger anymore.
I'm going to get a different angle so that I can show you where the estuary mouth used to be. Oh, I cut part of that head off. That's not very good. Hey, stay in frame, girl. Right, on the other side of that finger is where the estuary mouth used to be. Last year, this time, this was a basin filled with water and I had a GoPro Hero 3 set up here on a small tripod with a remote trying to video the kingfishers fishing in this basin over here that stretches all the way to the north the roundabout there where Pardet is standing on the dune How did Pardet know that I needed the marker right over there? Hey? Pardet Intelligente bitch Anyway, that is the migrating or the walking sand dunes of St. Lucia Wetland Park, Isi Mangaliso, KwaZulu Natal, South Africa. Have I got all the keywords in there? Since we're making the videos educational now, guys, don't let other CEO experts tell you keywords doesn't matter. They still very much matter. But that's enough about SEO training for the day. Let's do a little bit of video training for the day how do I do voice reduction microphone okay trade ah, secret number you one you see the little blue patch on the top of the camera let me just play you see that that is a normal scrubby that you buy at any supermarket cut with a menorah razor blade and stuck down come on focus with double-sided tape and that is my voice reduction microphone I went through a lot of boom mics and lapel mics and can earphone microphones this is the best one so far okay. high-end technology right there on top of a Canon SX70HS compact zoom camera that is what make making the videos on a daily basis yeah, why do you do that to me? And there's the proof in the pudding is in the eating. I'm not lying to you. There you go. See, this is where we're standing. And this is the camera I'm using. Vlogging 101. About 100 meters to the south, there's a little bird on the dead tree branch. I see hey why do I use the SX 70 HS and then you to get the capture the picture perfect you just do this Frank you're gonna be cameraman because I need to be in the video. Yo, Petrus, that tree stump there, where are you going with it? Yes, this is my winning lotto ticket. You're winning lotto ticket? Uh, sh explain. Uh, apparently, if you pick up a tree stump on the beach with barnacles on it, and you make a fire with it, you become lucky. I've got three lotto tickets for the weekend. I want to make them win. Barnacles? Barnacles. The, the what do they look like? Time in the, in the ocean. All right. And there's the barnacles. This is going home. Gonna get some vors at banana box. And we're gonna make the, the best luck we can today. Zulu style. I'll have to go down on my tummy for this one. So let's do that. On the boardwalk. Just filming Petrus quickly while he's busy getting some bird's eye view shots or drone shots of the crabs at the bottom. Interesting video he's busy putting together, yeah? About the crabs on the boardwalk. Enjoy your day. Bye. Now guys, the success about vlogging is to throw money at it, like Mr. Beast. But if you don't have money, 
you can entertain the people with critters. Wherever you are, there will always be something interesting to take pictures of or to vlog about. Where's my crabs? This critter just, just want to come into focus today. Let's take a, a drone shot of this one here. Let's just do a drone shot. There you go. See guys? Always have something to do when you do... To take pictures of or videos of when you do vlogging. You can use pictures as well can drop them into the video with an overlay let's do the aerial again of the snails see there's a snail critter there on the piece of grass in the old days we used to call this a bird's eye view today you call it a drone shot I think well, henceforth it will be called the drone shot. Van us, the spirit of St. Lucia. Guys, on this vessel you can see some incredible wildlife. Excellent tour guides, bird spotters. Yeah, I know. I know they pay me to say that, but it's actually the truth. Watch, here's a couple of clips. Check this out. My friend, you've outdone yourself, girl. My friend is the local artist lady that does all the murals and sign writing in town that you can see is hand painted. Look, she turned this glass fiber vessel into a wooden tug with a paintbrush. I had to look twice. That's a color line. That's dirty muddy water going out and this is marine water between that that's over there and the estuary shore there's marine water trapped and that's fresh water going out there. Look at that color line. This is what the Canon SX6 70HS can do guys. This is what it can do. Now I'm going to do a little photography trick here, video editing trick. And look how perfect this shot is. You can see the water draining out towards low tide now. When we were at the estuary mouth with the boat launches this morning, it was at the turn of the tide. The turn of the tide. You must buy more airtime, Petrus, for your English vocabulary. Lee. 